What's going on guys? God bless you. Carlos here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. We are working on this 2022 Toyota Tundra. This is truly, I think, like my next dream truck, but the TRD one, the orange, <coughs> the orange one. Uh, but hey, I'll enjoy this one uh, so far. Um, but today we're working on this vehicle, uh, which is heavily, heavily damaged, major swirls, major scratches, ton of washes, um, and what else? This thing has a little bit of everything, uh, but we're gonna be getting it looking right. Uh, so today we're gonna be talking about the new uh, DIY uh, gold standard. Uh, this one here, um, I received it. A huge shout out to uh, Ivan LaCroix and uh, Nick for sending me uh, this here to kind of play with it and test it out and see really what I think about it. I'm also going to be using it with their uh, waffle pad. Uh, we're going to talk about what I think about this. Um, so anyways, stick around. I'm going to get all set up and uh, we'll get started. Before we start working on this paint, uh, let's talk about really uh, the products that I received. Uh, you're gonna be, well, I received a six inch waffle pad, which I freaking love because it takes me back to when I started uh, my car wash journey. I've been doing this since I was in eighth grade uh, and really fell in love with this. The waffle pad takes me back in time because this is what I started learning. Um, polishing obviously the correction side all that was more new to me a couple of years back but i was using this to buff cars obviously i didn't know much about it but this takes me back in time um i love the this little diy detail this as just i don't know i really enjoy seeing this in the backing plate <coughs> obviously the waffle cone the uh, waffle cone the waffle pad has all these nice um, little curves, which is gonna help with one, keeping your pad cool, two, um, kind of spread your product out much better, uh, and three, helps with getting all in your uh, edges, in your curves, it does it much, much better. As far as your product, um, this one, I think it's a 16 ounce, yep, it's a 16 ounce bottle, um, comes with your sprayer, and the product kind of it smells like kind of like bananas i'm gonna say um it has a really really good scent um overall but really what we want to know is how well does this work um the price on this i think it's 29.99 on their website um i don't know what the cost on the pads are um i think at the time of this video these are sold out <laughs> congrats on that uh, these sold out like hotcakes um, but I think there is still uh, some of the DIY gold standard polish um, what we really want to know is does this product work right so I'm gonna get started on this truck and I'm definitely gonna let you guys know a little bit of what I think about this product so when it comes to this product I'm gonna be very honest I was very skeptical um, because this is very new to me uh, maybe not the pad, but this spray polish, right? I'm very old school, so I'm used to putting the drops on the pad and spreading it out. Um, so this was very new to me. So when I was using it today, I was very skeptical. I was like, I really don't know <laughs> if this is going to work. Um, but I, I got to, you know, step out of my comfort zone, try something new. And I have the perfect truck for this, right? So... Uh, I did the two sprays on this uh, pad and then just started, I didn't even spread it like I usually do because uh, I believe from, from hearing Ivan on one of his videos, he said, literally, you don't have to do that. Just put the pad to the paint and get to, get to work. Um, I really enjoyed the working time it gives uh, was one of the things that I noticed that it was giving me a lot of working time, uh, which is a plus for a lot of us detailers.
in this clip, you're gonna see this fender uh, pretty scratched up, right? Uh, and then I'm gonna start um, polishing it. And I gotta say, I was very, very impressed with how well it corrected. I feel like I didn't spend a lot of time on the correction. Um, and the gloss it gave was just really, really amazing. When it came to the buff off, removing this polish, is it gonna be kind of like um, grabby or does it buff off smoothly? Uh, in my opinion, I felt like it was easy to remove. I didn't feel like I had to really like do a lot of buff off or a lot of removing the polish. Um, I didn't feel it grabby. It felt really smooth removing it. Obviously, I think it's a depending on your towel that you're using is maybe how you're gonna feel it. Um, I usually use like the, um, like I use coating towels at times to remove the polish and it just makes it so much slicker or smoother to buff off. Um, so that's what I used. Um, but the buff off, very, very smooth. A question I probably will get asked in this video is, does it dust? In my opinion, I saw zero dusting. If there was dusting, it's probably because I moved the pad incorrectly or something and a little bit like came out, but no dusting whatsoever on this product. Does this product stain plastics? No. Uh, so you can feel very, very safe that you can use this on your truck and you're not gonna stain uh, like the plastic on the bed liners, um, the plastics on your fenders. Um, I did not see no staining whatsoever with this product. One of the things I really enjoyed um, was after I polished, I literally uh, grabbed um, my DIY ceramic gloss and obviously I removed the polish and then I did my sprays and then I blended it in, buffed it off and it is sealed, right? Uh, the DIY ceramic gloss will give you about, um, I think six to eight months of protection. I could be wrong. I use it so much. I just never really focus on how long does it last because usually a lot of the customers are even in my maintenance plan. So I always see the cars, but uh, as a standalone, I believe it gives you a uh, six to eight months of protection. So that's perfect. Uh, so I did the correction on this one and then I put the DIY ceramic gloss and I got to say that combination is killer. To end this video, what are my final thoughts um, on this product, the new DIY Gold Standard? Uh, Matt Props, uh, again, uh, to uh, DIY Detail for putting out a solid, solid product. Um, this one here is, again, it's $29.99, I believe, on their website. Uh, if you use code Serrano10, you'll get 10% off on discount. Uh, and they will also have these on sale. I, like I said, at the time of this video, it's probably sold out. But this is truly a game changer um so amazing um as well i think something i didn't mention is this is a pad depending correction polish what does that mean is that depending on the pad of choice <laughs> you're going to get a different correction or a different finish right if you want to cut a little bit more use a heavy cut or use a wool pad and if you want to then you know use a medium cut use a medium cut it's going to give you just that nice finish um, or if you want to use like a um, a fine cut pad you know just to do very light correction you can definitely do that as well um, obviously i didn't do that in this video uh, but i'm excited to try it in more scenarios uh, which if i do those types of videos you'll definitely see them um, but truly 
the correction of choice is really based off the pad that you're going to use uh, and this product is really really amazing i have really enjoyed it using it on this truck um, you're going to see a little bit of the finish the after how this thing turned out um, so i'm excited uh, again for the opportunity to have used um, this product uh, so go out there get you one i'll be posting a link in the description um, again support your local detailers diydetail.com um, putting out some solid solid products so as always guys god bless you guys and i'll catch you guys on the next video